First, we're gonna create a project. I chose first person, you can choose something else if you want. Also, I enabled ray tracing in my game, you can turn it off if you want because it takes lots of memory, but it makes lighting better. Also, name your project, whatever you want. I'm gonna name it tutorial and press create. So to move around, you have to press right button of your mouse and press WSD and that's how you move around. Also if you click E it goes up and when you press Q it goes down. If you look at in your left on top you can see a button and when you click it you can drag some stuff in. For example we're gonna drag a cube. You can move them by these arrows also, in, on top, if you press this button, you can rotate it. And also, if you press this button, you can scale it. As you can see, it is kind of snappy when you move it around. And if you want it to move smoothly, you can press that button and it moves smoothly. So if you want to rotate it more smoothly, you have to click this button. And if you want to scale it more smoothly, you can press that button. So now we're gonna press Ctrl A which selects everything and press delete or big backspace because we're gonna rebuild everything and it is gonna be way better. So press button which has window and press actors and this will show another window. Search for skylight and bring it in the scene. Make sure you press that it is movable. Also bring in volumetric cloud, sky atmosphere and height fog. And lastly bring in directional light. Also make it movable. On the left press this button and choose landscape mode. And choose size as much as you want. And also make sure to enable edit layers. And press create. When you hold on the landscape, you can sculpt up the landscape and if you press shift and click, you can dig a hole. You can also adjust size of your brush and you can also adjust strength of your brush. When you press smooth button and hold it, it makes everything smoother and when you press flatten and you will hold, it will make everything the same height as you want. When you press noise button, it will make everything sculpt like randomly. When you press manage and press add, you can add more tiles to your landscape and if you want to delete them, you can press delete. If you press control space, content browser will pop up. And if you press add and press Quixel Megascans, it will send you to this new tab. Quixel which has thousands of 3D models and thousands of materials you can use. Now we're gonna look for... First you have to sign in and you can download whatever you want. There are some qualities you can choose from. You can choose any you want. For this tutorial, I'm gonna use medium quality. Then you can press download. When it is downloaded, you can press add and it will be added to your project. If you want your downloads, you can press local and there will be all the stuff you have downloaded and you don't have to download it again. Now we're gonna paint a landscape, but for that we need to create a new material. So press right click and press create a material. Once you create it, you can name it the landscape and just open it. Also, if you want to create a new folder, you can right click and press new folder and you can name it whatever you want. And you can move this into landscape folder. Press right click and search for landscape chords. Then we're gonna search for multiply and press right click on the B and press promote to variable. Then name this size. Set size default value to 1. 
press Control space and go to Megascans folder, then go to surfaces and you can choose whatever material you want. Each material has three images. Select them all and drop it in. Then connect them to multiply. Then select all of those, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V and paste it again. Bring in other materials textures. Right click and search for make material attributes. Plug in first image to base color, second one to normal and third one is red, plug it into ambient occlusion and G plug it into roughness. Search for layer band, then add two layers, name one snow, name second one ground. Then search for break material attributes and plug in base color to base color, roughness to roughness, ambient occlusion to ambient occlusion and normal to normal. Make sure to press save and then we're gonna press landscape by right click and create material instance. Then select all landscape tiles and switch landscape material to material instance that we just created. Then go to landscape mode, press paint, then press plus, press weight blended layer normal, press save and do the same to second material also. And as you can see now we can paint the landscape. Also make sure to delete this and press B and press Premote to variable. Name this size ground or whatever you want. Now if you open material instance you will see that there are two sizes. Press check marks on both and now you can increase or decrease the size of the material. Now you're gonna have to come up with a sketch. You can roughly draw on the paper what kind of place you want to build. For example, I chose mountains. I chose to have a cave and when you came out of there, there would be village entrance and big mountains behind. Also find some images that matches your sketch. Once you find the sketch, you can start creating a level. Use Quixel Bridges 3D models. Also make sure to add these little details. As you can see, my game has very little and detailed props to make it more realistic. Also, if you want to make a good snow, you can search for 3D models which will look like snow when snow material is applied. If you want to make objects snowy, follow these steps. Also, if you want to add props faster, you can use Folic. Press Select mode and press Folic. Search for objects you want to use and drop them in here. Press Save and you can just tick them and start brushing with them. For example, here I can brush with grass so I don't have to place them one by one. Also, you can increase size of the objects and also paint density, which will make objects more. Also, you can do same with rocks and anything you want. If you want to make a door or a window, press select mode and go to modeling mode. Here, press box and bring it in. And then when you bring it in, press complete. Then scale it up and bring another box. Put it inside of another box. 
and press Mesh Bool. If it did not work, press Operation and change Operation. And just press Accept. And after that you can apply material. Also, press Directional Light and tick Cast Shadows on Atmosphere. Also, I forgot to tell you this, but when you rotate Directional Light, Sun also moves with it. So you can make a sunset, you can make midday, or whatever you want. Also press exponential height fog and make sure to enable volumetric cloud but because it will give you way better fog. Also press edit and go to project settings and tick support sky atmosphere affecting height fog. Also press edit and go to plugins and search for volumetrics and restart the engine. Tick volumetrics. Then go to settings and enable engine and plugin content. Then go to engine, plugins and search for volumetric content. And go to content folder. Here will be lots of skies that you can use, lots of different skies. Then search for volumetric cloud. And in material you can put whatever you want, whichever sky you want. Also bring in post process. Search for bounce and tick this. You can change lots of stuff, for example temperature, exposure, and also add a little bit of field grain which will make scene look better. And that is it, you can do whatever you want. And good luck. Have a nice day.